Oh yeah, that's a pretty sight in the morning. Sasquatch sightings. <laughs> nice underpants, bro. Yeah, you guarantee if you go camping with a YouTuber, there's no such thing as privacy. If you're gonna walk around camp in your underpants, it's a YouTuber's job to capture every single moment and share it with the greater world. Sorry, Terrence, now everybody knows you got blue underpants. That's all right, they're pretty cool, bro. Uh, good morning, everybody. We are back at the same big, beautiful camp spot that we did the live stream at. But this time, we got some different people here. You guys know who's in that big old ambulance there. And then uh, we got some new ones there. We got a Mercedes and there's a Transit. There's Emmy back there. Uh, Mr. Micro Camper Terrence showed up again. Yeah, a small little group. It's a beautiful day. When we actually got here yesterday, it started to snow. It was weird. I've never seen this before. It started to snow about 50 feet above our heads. There was flurries and it was raining on our heads. But if you looked up, it was full blown snow. And this morning as the sun's rising, you can start to see some of the snow cap on the mountains here, but uh, looks like we're gonna have a beautiful day, but a typical misty West Coast morning. But, oh yeah, we got some snow <laughs> yesterday. I thought for sure we might've been a full whiteout this morning. Okay, let's go make some coffee. Why did I not ever think of this before? When I'm parked on an angle, I've always been like, well, things are falling off. Why don't I just do this? Hey, why did I think of that before? <laughs> now it's level. <sighs> That's the first time in all the years I've had this thing in here that doing uh, doing this little lid, besides having extra storage in there, comes in double use. Van life, guys, double use everything. That's genius. Glad I thought of that. <laughs> it is not going anywhere. And my van is on a serious slope. Even with it raised up that much, my coffee is still at a bad angle. This could go up a little higher in order to make that coffee level. But that's how, look how much higher I have to go. Look at that. <laughs> I'd have to go that much higher just to level up my coffee. That's how much of an angle the van's on. Smart though, because otherwise that would have went right on the floor. Right buddy, you would have been right on the floor. Good morning, Cruz. It's an absolute perfect misty West Coast morning. <laughs> this is pretty great. It's a little chilly out here this morning. It's pretty great, my friends, pretty great. Hmm. Just about everybody's sleeping here still this morning. snow on the mountaintops up there. Let's see how close we can get in there. Wow. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Of course I'm gonna stop when you put the camera on. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you see, turns into a sweet dog when the camera's a wow. What do you want, buddy? Oh. <laughs> what do you want, buddy? You got coffee on your face, bro. <laughs> I got this ball. You spill my coffee, buddy. Okay, okay. okay here. <laughs> Morning, Lauren. Good morning. We are in the mountains in British Columbia, Canada, on the west coast. And out here, the weather can be very unpredictable this time of year. Yeah, you don't know if it's winter time or if it's springtime or it's just gonna rain all day. But this morning, it's promising. 
It looks like blue skies, and once this cloud goes away, once the sun starts to fully come through, I think we're going to have a pretty nice day. <laughs> At least that's what I thought this morning anyway. It turned out like we had an absolute roller coaster of weather today. The snow line has come down, is kind of dusted just above us. Anyway, guys, I'm just going to let this video play, but we, we had one heck of a weather day today. But we gathered everybody here because it's Emily's birthday. She turned 40 years old today. And that's our little camp, our little home sweet home. There goes Lauren. It's got a big butt, man. That thing's huge. That's the problem with having so much back in, man. Like, you poke the nose up like a quarter of an inch, that ass ends like one inch from the ground. Are you pulling out? Are you going to poke out now or are you going to stay there? I'll just sit here until it's done. Thanks for blocking the wind. Why oh, there? Too hot, too cold, too wet, too dry. Who gets in there? Just hot. Where's your confetti? Yeah, your confetti. Oh, my birthday! Thank you. You want it up? Order it up, just for you. Whoa. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's my fault. Oh, a little bit of hail, it's all good. <laughs> Pretty sure this video started as a very beautiful morning. <laughs> Pretty sure the last shot I got was a beautiful drone shot in the morning. Oh, sun. And now, it's a snowman. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a good pass it through either. It's here for a bit. Oh, it looks pretty. Strategically parked wall. Nice view from up here. Just as we're coming off the mountain here, are you serious? <laughs> Blue skies. What a roller coaster of weather we've had. Uh, and sunshine. This is. <laughs> Welcome to the West Coast where it's not sure if it wants to stay in the winter or if it's on its way to spring quite yet. That's been fun. What's going on West Coast? We hit with a little bit of sun. Now we're getting a little bit of rain. To the shop, baby. I put the camping chair over by the heaters <laughs> so I could dry it out from being outside in the hail. And look who made home on it. Hey, it's a good spot right there by the heater, isn't it, Cruzy? <laughs> so sleepy, buddy. <laughs> How cute is that guy? So I got back here to the shop and uh, doing a little bit of a cleanup because, well, 
You know from the last little bunch of videos, the live stream, boom, bomb went off inside the van and I got stressed out, came back, cleaned it up, then we went out for a, a little couple night camp out with Emily's birthday. I'm really, really sorry, guys. I didn't film like, I could have filmed like two days of the content, but I didn't. I, I've been pretty tired lately. So I came back and, uh, well, bomb went off again. So let's look at the mats. It's like wedged, look at the stuff just wedged in there. It's <laughs> so disgusting. I even had to go through and resort my fridge. I had broken eggs all over the place, but now it's all cleaned up. I bought an 18 pack of eggs from Costco the other day and I must've broke a dozen of them. I don't really keep eggs in my fridge all the time and I forgot and I'm just throwing things in and out of it the whole couple days out there and well, yeah. A little house cleaning is a beautiful thing. I want to show you guys something. I put this on a YouTube short the other day, but I haven't put it in a full length video. Jonathan, my friend, what an incredible gift you made me. My friends, look at this. Oh guys, this is so, so beautiful. Here's his contact information. His name is Jonathan. Um, screenshot that one. His Instagram's on there. His website is on there. Jonathan, when I opened up this package, I was absolutely blown away. So this subscriber sent me through a picture of like a green block and he's like, I'm making you something. Can I have your address? I don't want to tell you what I'm making you, but you're absolutely going to love it. And uh, he had the green on the engine of that thing in mind when he made this. Absolutely the most beautiful gift I've ever received. Got a nice little little belt latch to it. Real good tactical feel, but check this out. Handmade. And he put the beast on it as well. Because if you guys seen the engine go in that thing, we have that exact, uh, there's that exact logo, the beast, on the engine of that. Jonathan, this thing is absolutely breathtaking. I, I just, I, I'm at a loss for words, man. This is, this is so beautiful. And it's awesome. So it actually kind of snaps in there. And here it's got a fire starter stick on this side of it. Look at, look at that handle. Oh, just amazing. Jonathan, this thing is really, really, really cool. And I'm super stoked to be able to clip this on my belt and have this be a part of the ambulance build. I feel absolutely honored that you made this for me. So my friends, if you're looking for an absolute beautiful piece, that's the guy's name. Jonathan, you're absolutely incredible. Thank you so, so much for this. Look at my homes, looking good. We're gonna grab these things. So these are the window dividers that I've been testing out. So I had the owner of Sakozi message me today and was like, hey Chrome, so how's the test coming along with the new window dividers? And I told him that I absolutely love them. Um, if you missed that video, the owners of that company are friends of Lauren's and they came by the shop here and brought me a test version to test out on the Ford O'Connor lines. The magnet, they magnet on the inside of the window here. He said, if I like those ones, he's going to put them into production. So I had the chance to put them through the test over the last few weeks. And uh, now we're going to test fit them in here for Emily to make sure that they fit on hers. So they go around the outside edges and that's it. That's a good fit. Not much feet. So check those things out. A total complete blackout from the outside. My van is a 2004. Hers is a 2011. Yes. Yeah, so we just want to make sure that they fit. And they just snap right in here. Listen to those. Mm -hmm. Hear that? There's like little magnets all over. <laughs> awesome. So anyway, guys, this company here will be releasing these very soon. I will let you guys know when they're available on their website. But those window covers have been pretty darn awesome. When he called me today, he's like, Chrome, what's the verdict? I'm like, they have, they have been up and down in my windows, especially the side ones the most, probably three times a day since he gave them to me. And they're, they're awesome. 
I finally threw out those plastic ones that I've been having in my van for years that I just cut and they just fit. Then they get all bent and weird and then I gotta buy another set of plastic. That is a thing of the past now. These new window covers are now uh, full time in my van. So I will keep you guys posted. Um, hopefully in the next week or so when those will be available on their website. And I believe they're making another appearance in my video coming up soon. So you'll get a chance to kind of meet them again if you didn't catch that video. But it was, it was really, really cool. But I want to show you something. So my live stream the other day, let, okay, let's back the story up. People have been asking me why I don't make DJ mixes or DJ on this channel for you guys to hear. And it's because as soon as you play any DJ music, you get flagged for copyright. Meaning that any video I make, it's sorry, any money that I make on that video doesn't go to me. It all goes to the owners of those tracks, which means all my hard work for producing that video makes zero dollars. And uh, I keep bringing this up. People just don't get it. Well, let me show you. I put a little DJ mix in my live stream the other day when I live streamed for Jackery. I, I don't know, played like a handful of songs. Check out what happened. Here we go. That video is now partially blocked in some countries. It's not eligible for monetization at all. And here are the tracks that were flagged for copyright infringement. I got nailed for four tracks. One, two, three, four songs out of maybe six that I played. Um, this one cannot be monetized. This one here was actually, this one was blocked in some countries. But this is why I don't do any DJ mixing on, uh, on my channel. I know there's lots of DJs out there that have DJ channels, but they also monetize in other ways. I use my channel to monetize everything that we do here. So all the ads that play on my videos are how we make money and or brands and stuff we work with and also Patreon and YouTube memberships. But we rely heavily on the YouTube ad revenue. So when that stuff happens, that's a full live stream, zero monetization. So it kind of sucks in that, in that aspect. But uh, anyway, guys, what a, <laughs> what a crazy, crazy stack of few days. I got my home back again, finally. One thing I have to do coming up here pretty quick because summer traveling is right around the corner or at least, at least the first summer trip is right around the corner. I want to start going through every little cupboard in here, every little thing that's accumulated in here, like every clip, every, well, whatever else is in these things. I want to go through everything to ensure that I'm packed and ready to go without hauling any excess stuff that I don't use. And I'm looking forward to that, but I'm also not looking forward to that. I kind of accumulate things. I'm kind of a bit of a hoarder in some ways when it comes to my home. I have just about everything that I need in here to survive on a day-to-day -day basis and more. But I have a problem with buying two or three of some items just in case some items break. And maybe I'm up in the backcountry somewhere and I need another one of those items. So instead of driving back to town, like cables and things like that. So I'm kind of scared to see the kind of stuff I've been hoarding. <laughs> it's, it's true. But uh, anyway, guys, what a, what a, what a crazy couple days this was. Uh, it was fun to be up there with Emily's birthday and not actually run around with my camera all day and film. And I know there's been a lot of skips in videos and stuff this month. There just hasn't been enough time. But anyway, guys, hopefully you watch this crazy video of hail, sunshine, rain, <laughs> beautiful drone shots. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm just babbling at this point. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. I fixed my sign. Drink some tequila, put on some gangster rap, and handle it. <laughs> yeah. No, no tequila today. Maybe, maybe a beer. That works. See you guys. Oh uh, yeah, good way to end a day. These little campouts that we've been having are a lot of fun. I've been making friends, and that's something that I don't do very often. I'm a social guy, but my friend circle is very small. So doing these gatherings has been kind of nice for me to kind of expand my friend network a little bit. And I think I'm gonna do them more often. This is a lot of fun. Now I got a question. Can you have too many friends? Ah, whatever. <laughs> See you guys soon. And maybe there's another camp out coming up in our future. Hey, you know what? Maybe we might do a great big one and invite everybody. Oh, stay tuned for that.